Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to Beer Geek Nation. I'm your host, Chris. Thank you so much for joining me once again for another beer review. And today, guys, we're looking at another Goose Island beer. This is a year-round offering from them, and I get a lot of requests for this one. Um, never had it, but this is their Sophie. It's a Belgian-style ale, basically a farmhouse ale, a Saison, technically a French-style Saison. Um, they do some really interesting stuff with this one, though. They ferment it with a wild yeast strain. Um, and then they blend it. They do 80% standard, you know, in steel tanks, and then they blend it with 20% um, of the beer that was aged in wine barrels with orange peel. So very cool stuff. Looking forward to it. I've had their Matilda. I really like that one. Um, so I want to, I'm looking forward to this one. So let me get into a glass that you guys know it smells, tastes, and give you the verdict on the Goose Island Sophie. All right, guys, so the appearance on the Sophie, it's absolutely brilliant, crystal clear. I can see straight through it, effervescence kind of coming off the bottom of the glass. Um, just an absolutely brilliant, almost neon yellow to it. Uh, beautiful three or four fingers of a fluffy, pillowy, billowing uh, white on it, head on there, dissipating pretty quickly, um, but I would expect that with the wild yeast strain. Lots of lacing on there. Actually, for 6.5%, there is some alcohol legs on there. Just a really, really crystal clean, clear looking beer. All right, the aroma on the Sophie. Wow, that's intense. Big, big orange peel. You get that uh, funky kind of barnyardy smell in there. A slight lactic note, um, a little bit of a tartness, like a lemon peel. Nice breadiness, a touch of um, a spiciness, a black pepper, earthy kind of quality in there as well. A little bit of a sweetness, just a, a really, really bright smelling beer. All right, the taste on the Sophie. Cheers. Wow, it's really nice. Right at the front of the tongue, there's a nice pop of carbonation. Really helps to open up the, the taste buds followed almost immediately by um, a slight kind of citrus taste. It's got to be from that orange peel, a little bit of an oakiness in there from those wine barrels. Definitely a white wine kind of character to it overall. Um, a little bit of that funkiness coming through from the wild yeast, a little bit of that lactic quality again, a little bit of a tartness in there as well. Middle of the mouth, you kind of get a sugary sweetness. Um, some ripe fruits, maybe a little bit of a pear type of quality. Really, really dry finish on this one. Again, verging on like a white wine type of finish. Aftertaste, I'm getting more sweetness, more of that orange peel, more of a bright, just a really, really bright kind of citrus taste to it. Uh, blending with that nice kind of funkiness from the wild yeast really helps to keep everything in check. It's a big, big, flavorful, effervescent, refreshing beer. Really, really nice stuff. All right, guys, so the final verdict on the Goose Island Sophie, 6.5%. Again, available year-round. Um, it comes in 12-ounce bottles as well as these 22-ounce bombers. I'm going to give this one an A. I don't think this beer gets nearly as enough credit as it deserves. I mean, considering it's a Saison aged in wine barrels with orange peel, there's wild yeast in it. You don't hear a whole lot about it, and it's just a fantastic beer, perfectly brewed, very, very well-blended beer. Um, there's funkiness to it. There's a little bit of sourness in there. There's a nice kind of citrus element to it, a nice kind of sweetness from the malts and the Saison the yeast really shining through. Just, a, just an absolutely refreshing, great beer to drink on a hot summer day like today, but there's still that complexity that a beer geek really looks for. And, um, again, I don't think you hear a lot of out of this beer, and I think this would be a great gateway beer for maybe a wine drinker or your wife or your girlfriend who is really isn't into beer. Um, this would be a good one to try on them. It's really, really great stuff. I'm surprised. I was, I'm actually genuinely surprised by this one. So going to get an A for me. Definitely, definitely check this one out. It's a good beer. So with that said, remember, folks, life is too short. Drink amazing beers. Cheers.